Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today I'm going to build a little prototype thing. Um, here's what I got, or here's my problem. Um, I've got an area around my, my deck that I built that uh, I want to be able to get in there, but I want to actually enclose it off. I'm planning on using some, uh, you know, some of the normal fence planks that you see that all most wooden fences are made out of. Um, and I want to put a door on it, but I don't want the door to be visible. So what I want is to be able to make it to where I can push it to have it unlatch, open it up, do what I want, and close it and have it spring loaded where you push it in, it latches. Um, but not to have any visible parts to it, preferably even the hinges themselves. So, um, but I need a little latch mechanism and I think I can make one. I've looked and I've never found anything that's for outdoor use. Most of the time you see something like that is for cabinets or something for the indoors. Um, so I'm going to just try to make one for the outdoors. Um, but I've got an idea. Uh, I'm planning on making a little prototype out of wood. You guys can follow along with this as I do it. And uh, hopefully you can work out the kinks. That way whenever I do it out of metal, it won't be as much of a problem. So anyway, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm planning on doing. All right, so I've got the constraints of I'd like it to be able to fit onto a 2x4. Um, so what I need is something to attach to the actual gate part, which will most likely look something like this here. And we're going to leave a flat front on it. That way it can press against a spring. And uh, so this will attach to the gate somehow, maybe some holes here. Um, and then we'll have a spring, and we'll go ahead and just do this kind of kind of crazy. Um, and then most likely... I'll try to attach the spring back here, but if I can't, then what I'll end up doing is probably putting like a, like a large bolt or something like that through it with a washer on the end of it and actually have it bolted through whatever it is on this side and have the bolt here. That way it can push against it and it'll push on through this and just basically be a big spring. Um, but it'll push against this. So now I need something to latch against or something to actually latch it. Um, what I thought about is having some kind of hinge, probably hinging about right here, um, and have it go up and like so. And we'll do it like that. Um, so like I said, this will be the point where it hinges. And as you push this back further, this, since it's going to be angled, will push on the back of this and cause this to rise up. And actually I forgot about this. We probably need something, something kind of sticking out the front like so. Um, that way as this rises up, we'll have another latching mechanism that will be, let's see, something like... Something like this, I guess. And uh, we will have it have a point of, well, a point of hinge right there. Um, that way, as this comes up, it wants to, or it'll lift up on here and latch into that. That'll make it to where whenever you push forward on it, it will lift this up, latch on there, and be open. And now you just let go and it, the spring causes it to push open um, because it's not latched here anymore. So then as you open up the door, as you're going in to do whatever, or as you get done doing what you're doing, um, you just basically flip this so it drops this again and then close the door and it lifts this up just enough for this to go under, but as long as you don't push it all the way forward, then you get this to actually latch right where it is. Um, so that's my idea. Like I said, I need all of this part right here to be able to kind of fit onto a 2x4 or prefer it to anyway. But we're going to make a prototype real quick out of some wood, see if we can't make something that works, and then adjust it, tweak it however we need to, to, uh, to get it to a point of really functioning well so that I can use it outdoors or make it out of metal and use it outdoors. So let's go ahead and see what we got. 
So what I think I'm going to use for the latch and everything um, is this right here. This is just some, I think it was from a baby bed or something like that. It's pretty thin. It's easy to easy to cut. Um, I think that'll work fine. Uh, I'm actually going to use my Craftsman, uh, what do you call it, a scroll saw. Got this thing a long time ago. Really haven't used it but a couple of times. I think the, uh, the only time I've actually used it in a video is whenever I was making some parts for uh, to try to get a push lawnmower going and to make some parts for the uh, for the axle so that it would stay on the mower again because every time you lift it up the front wheels would fall off um, but you can check that video out either up here up here wherever it goes um, you can check that out if you like see how I made that um, but let's go ahead and get started with this So if we got it to actually be balanced like that, then this right here, we could actually, well, it would actually be in like this. Um, we would need to push in. Actually, I can already see we've got a problem there. We need this to be angled more so that when we push up against this, it wants to ride right past it. So there's a good chance that, uh, that this needs to be more triangular I guess down like so and maybe even more than that in order for this to work properly and or this needs to be more triangular um, this right here though we can't go too far because we still need a flat spot on the end so it can push up against the spring and obviously I can already see too that we've got an issue is this needs to be much longer because the spring needs to come through well I guess the spring can come through like like that um, so if you pushed it in it would lift up on this as long as you didn't push too far you have the spring go just to the right place and now this gravity would want to pull this down so you'd be good but it doesn't go high enough that it grabs this then once it's locked then you could push it further and as you can see it raises that up pushes against the spring and this latch here would latch down which I've already changed that a little bit so um, but in general it works if I needed to I could also put a little spring on this to hold it in place in the back position um, that way it actually went to where I needed to. I could also put a little stop peg or something like that so that it can't go too far. Um, different things like that but in general this right here actually works. Um, again just be modifying it a little bit figure out how it would make it work better and, uh, and then once I get something that works great I can just transfer all of these 
to something made out of metal. So I think in general we've got a, a good working prototype idea here. Um, it's just a matter of tweaking it a bit and sizing it up or scaling it to, to a good working, something that works well um, and that I can go ahead and design out of metal instead of wood. Alright everybody, hopefully I didn't bore you too much. Um, I'm just trying to let you in on my thoughts about my plan for what I wanted to do, you know, my, my initial problem, um, and show you exactly how I was kind of working things out so that we could see how to, uh, how to make something that would work. Because um, this right here is easy, this is just wood. Whenever you go cutting out things in metal, especially since I don't have a metal bandsaw or anything like that, um, I'm going to probably be using a grinder to cut everything and uh, it's going to take a lot of time. So we might as well go ahead and make something out of wood that I can do here in a few minutes and uh, get a good idea of everything. Um, I can play with these little angles and things like that a little better um, and off camera of course um, and then come back and make something out of metal for you guys. We can see it work in action. Um, I didn't do anything about the spring. That right there, it's just a spring. I mean, in, in, in theory, it's going to be something like, well, I've got a spring here, but in theory, it's going to be something that there's a nail there in the end of it, and let's pretend this is the board, and, and this is not going to be a nail, this is going to be a bolt with probably a washer, something like that on the end of it, but this is going to be the board or, or whatever it needs to be bolted to. And then on the end is going to be a bolt so it can't go any, you know, can't go anywhere. And then the spring, as you close the door, will just push against that, and uh, and the bolt itself will be going through the part that it's, you know, that it's pushing it or that it's bolted mounted with. Um, that way I've got something that I can press against, and it won't really matter. The reason why I don't want to put the spring on the, uh, you know, because I could just put a spring on the door itself and have it to where every time you open it, it just pulls that spring. Um, but I don't really want to do that because then you need a really long spring, like a screen door spring or something like that. And then really you need a handle on the outside to be able to pull it open. I don't want any handles or anything. Uh, I just want it to look like it's just part of it. Like, like if you're walking next to a wooden fence, you can't even tell that there's any kind of opening whatsoever there, you know. Um, so. But that right there, I can do that off camera. That's not really anything difficult. It's just placement of the spring and adjusting it so that you get it to, to hit in just the right position so that it both gives it some something for the, the door to push against and at the same time has enough to be able to push it back out after you've pushed it to unlatch it. Um, but that's about all it really needs. Um, the other thing, the reason why I wanted this piece to push against it, because this is going to be mounted to the gate. I don't want it to, I could put the spring to where it pushes against the gate itself, but it's going to be a wooden, you know, a wooden door that's not all that sturdy, and most likely the spring will want to, unless I put one at the top one at the bottom, the spring would want to kind of warp the door. You know, it's going to be a pretty flimsy thing, just something that you can access, you know, just an access door. Um, so to keep it off of the door itself, I plan on having it just pushing against the latch, and the latch will always be, you know, taking up, taking up that spring. So it won't be actually on the door itself. But so that was my thoughts on that. Um, and why do I have to do all this? I don't. Uh, but I think it'd be pretty neat. I just like the idea of it being being something that nobody knows it's there, but yet you can store things under there, or if you needed to, you could get under there to do whatever you need to do, replace a board or, or you know, whatever you may need to do. Maybe somehow something animal got under there and you got to get under there and get it out. Whether it's a good animal or a bad animal, who knows. But, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's just my idea. That's my thought process on it all. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the brief chat about it, showing you how I, I would do it and uh, and maybe it'll inspire you guys to, uh, to do something like this yourselves. Um, if you come up with a better idea or if you found anything out there that I just didn't see when I was searching around for something, I don't know, let me know. I'd, uh, I'd love to see if I just wasted all my time, you know, spent three, four hours making something when I could have gone out and bought it for ten bucks, you know, something like that.